and welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would do something a bit different. I don't really do hauls, especially clothing hauls on my channel, but it's definitely something that I would like to do because I really do like clothing, even though I don't think I'm a particularly stylish person. Um, but lately I've hated everything in my wardrobe. You know when you have those days where you're like, I've got nothing to wear, but I have a lot of clothes, it's just I, I don't like any of them anymore. So what I'm doing is selling a lot of stuff on eBay, giving a lot to charity and just kind of throwing away stuff that I haven't worn in years because I tend to hoard a lot of clothes and I'm never going to wear them again because some of them are quite hideous, so yeah. So these are all products that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks and I'm going to stop babbling and actually show you them now. So first up it's Zara and I absolutely love Zara. If there was one shop that I could only shop in for the rest of my life, it would be that shop because whenever I go in there I want to buy everything and it's kind of like the style that I kind of want to embrace going forward um, is that kind of like Zara look. And lately what I really really needed to buy was black boots. I know what you're thinking, it's spring, why do you need black boots? But I wear black boots like all year round because I like to wear them with like bare legs and skirts. And I had been on the hunt for the perfect black boot for ages. I had some from, where was it, New Look before. And I'm very particular with what kind of black boot I want. I want like a pointed, um, what's it called? Pointed, pointed toe and then a block heel. And I found these. And they're kind of like a leather, I don't know if they're real leather because they were $39.99. So I don't know if they're real leather, but they've got like the pointed cap that I like, a block heel, and they come up um, higher on the ankle, which is great when you're wearing them with like skirts. And they're also quite tight around the ankle, because I hate, you know, when you can see your sock at the top. Um, so these were a really, really great find, and I knew as soon as I saw them, I think I bought those ones online, yeah I did, um, that I had to have them because they look like the perfect boot, and for £40 for a pair of boots, I think that's really good. I will do a cutaway now of me wearing them, but they're so, so super comfortable. I wear them like all day to work, and I'm really feeling like I'm getting the wear out of them, and I love it when you buy something and you wear it all the time because it's such a good investment, and that means like, you've kind of made money. I feel like I've made money when I, I get wear out of something, but no, those were the first thing I picked up and I'm absolutely obsessed with them so, so much and I know I'm gonna keep wearing them all year. The next thing though, I haven't yet worn. I got them the same time as the black boots and this is them. They are kind of just like woven black and white boots. These were, how much were they? 59.99 it says. Did I really pay 60 quid for these? I really don't remember, but both of these are in a size 4, but I just haven't worn these yet. I feel like I need to find the perfect outfits to wear them with. You know, I really, really love them. It's just I don't know if I'm going to get the wear out of them. They come really, really tight around your ankle, which is great for pairing them with, like, skirts and dresses. I'll do a cutaway so you can see them right now on. But yeah, let me know what you think about these, because I'm so undecided. It does have, like, a rounded cap instead of that pointed cap that I do like, but it does have a lovely, comfortable block heel. And I don't think, no, you wouldn't be able to wear socks with these, so I don't know how, you know, like, everyday appropriate they really are. But I'll try them on anyway and show you on camera, but leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you think I should keep these, or was I just having an absolutely crazy moment? But there's something about them I really, really like, and I think with, like, an all-black outfit, these will add, like, a lovely, like, bit of difference to it, but I don't know. And then the next thing I got from Zara is actually this swimsuit. I don't know how I'm going to show this to you on camera. But basically my friend wanted me to get a swimsuit off her for my birthday. I couldn't find one anywhere that I wanted. And then when I went into Zara, I actually found this one and tried it on. And I didn't think it was going to fit me because it's so hard for me to find like swimsuits that fit me because I'm quite busty but then I've got a very small waist and it always just looks too much boo basically and um, this actually fitted which I was really really shocked at but basically it's got like a tie bikini top then there's like a cutout and then a swimsuit red bottom I will probably I don't know if I should really try this on is that inappropriate 
No, I don't think that's inappropriate. I'll probably do a cutaway of me wearing this right now and you can see exactly what it looks like on, but I know you'll probably get really bad tan lines wearing this, but I just think it's really cool, really funky, and I'll probably wear it with some like denim shorts as well. I should probably have said that I'm going on holidays and that's why I'm buying a swimsuit, but I just think it'll look really cute, you know, with those denim shorts. And if I'm just like quickly popping out, I can just put on my shorts some sunglasses and I'm good to go. Probably wouldn't wear it, you know, sunbathing because otherwise I'm gonna have like a circle on my stomach, but I just thought this was really, really cute and I didn't have anything like it. I think it was 25 pounds, so it's not really that bad. But yeah, I am a D cup and this is a small. So if you are any bigger than a D cup and would usually buy a small, I wouldn't say that it would fit because it was kind of borderline for me. I don't think I'd be able to do any like swimming or lengths in this um because my boobs would definitely pop out um but for just kind of like a fashion swimwear accessory it was really really cute and i really like it next up i went to h&m and that's kind of like my second favorite shop at the moment i really really like um a lot of the stuff they do i was kind of like drawn towards h&m because of some of you might know a youtuber called lydia elise millen and she did a video in collaboration with them kind of showcasing this spring collection and there was a couple of things that i really really liked and this skirt actually is one of them so this is it it's kind of like a like a pencil skirt but it's not fitted and it's got like a tie waist the one i thought she was wearing wasn't khaki but when I followed the link it was and it's got kind of like a tight um, top and then these like ruffled edges and then it kind of like goes out and it's like just above the knee. I would do a cutaway of me wearing this skirt but I can't because I can't get it over my legs. This is a size 8 and this is the only problem I have with H&M that their sizes are so vastly different from one another like literally, sometimes I can wear an eight, sometimes I have to wear a 10, and don't even get me started with bikini tops because bikini tops in H&M are like this big. Like, can anyone fit in them? Because I cannot. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and swap this for a size 10 so I can do a cutaway, um, ready for when this video goes live. But if I can't, then I will pop in a picture right here of either the model or Lizzie or Lise Millen or someone wearing it because it is a really really lovely skirt um, and I do really really want it and I know it's going to look nice when I have the right size um, so I am going to keep it but I need to swap it for a bigger size but yeah it's kind of like a really lightweight material I thought it was going to be a bit um, thicker actually because I've got another skirt from H&M like this but it's a lot thicker but i think this is going to be much better for spring because it's really lightweight i got this because i really wanted to wear it to work um it's kind of like that smart casual look that i kind of want to rock so i really really like this i think it was 40 pounds so look oh it doesn't say that's not great but yeah i think it was 39.99 but i'll link it down below anyway so you can see it and then the next thing I got from H&M was this cute little like white strappy top and again it's got that kind of like tie by the boobs and then it's kind of like a peplum effect. I'll do a cutaway now so you can see it on me but I really don't have that many like summery casual tops that you could also wear on a night out, you know, if you're going for like a pub lunch in the spring or in the summer or something like that. Anyway, I'm kind of justifying why I bought this, but I just basically thought it was a very pretty top. This was in a size 8, and it fits perfectly. Note, though, there is a, where is it, a um, zip on the side. I tried to get it on without putting the zip up, and literally nearly decapitated myself because it was so tight. But if you undo the zip, then it really, like, hugs your waist, and I think is really, like, complementary. Um, to the figure and I just really really loved this. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like 20 pounds, 19.99 Yeah, it was and I just thought it was a really really pretty top and I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of it I think I just whizzed through that so super fast that I can't even breathe But hopefully some of that made sense and even if it didn't hopefully the cutaways were suffice enough but yeah, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of those boots because I really don't know what to do about them. And also leave me a comment and let me know which product was your favourite in this haul. And I will see you in my next video.